<clears throat> Welcome to Viking Tools for Revit. In this video will create a simple custom sprinkler symbol to use in our... First, let's look at this simple sprinkler head layout that we have here in this project. Both rows look the same, but the top row sprinklers are VK532 155 degree head, while the second row sprinklers are the same head of VK532, but these are 286 degree sprinklers. The default Viking families only use the NFPA 170 recommended symbols, and NFPA does not take into consideration how these are really applied in real shop drawing situations, so we need to make a, a simple adjustment and apply our own custom symbol to this plan. Many companies have their own set of custom symbols already, and we've supplied you with a tool so that you can uh, recreate those and incorporate those into your in this example, I'm going to create a symbol for the 286. I'm going to leave the 155 alone. So we just start by creating a new family. Start a new family. We'll go to annotation type of family, and we'll say this is a generic annotation. We'll open that. We're now into our uh, file here to start creating our own family. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is delete this note. You don't want that showing up in your file drawing. Now I'm going to uh, create a, it's a circle to kind of match what we have in our, our current uh, library. So we'll start off by just saying create. I'm going to, the circle is actually going to be a line, but it's going to be a circle. And we start at our intersecting point here, where the uh, two crosshair lines match. Now, the, the scale is important here. Um, as, as we're working, we're working with the radius, so I want that radius to be 1 16th of an inch. And the reason for that is that 1 16th of an inch radius will equate to a one foot diameter circle in your, your project once this is loaded into your project. This is the way annotations work within Revit. So you want to uh, look at this ahead of time. If, if you need to use a different size circle for your symbols, uh, that's fine. Uh, just uh, create that whatever you, whatever you need, but keep in mind that this is going to scale up into in your uh, project. Everything is defaulting to uh, inches, by the way. This, I'm going to just copy this around just by using a simple mirror. Now I've duplicated the uh, symbol pretty much of what we had in existence. The next thing I might want to do would be add another circle within that circle. So we'll say do a line again another circle and I'll bring the circle in here and now I'll take and create a filled region so we have a filled region here and I'll select the circle in this circle and you'll see that we have a filled region here okay so now I can save this apparently this may be how I want my high temperature sprinkler to be distinguished from that so I'll save this family. I'll save it as a family. I'll save this into my wherever I keep my custom symbol library. This is going to be my this, this will be my uh, upright extended coverage, 286 degree head. Okay. And this will be in my custom library there. So now I've saved that. So we go back to our drawing. I now am going to replace these with that new symbol. So we go into our Sprinkler Symbol Manager. The Symbol Manager shows you, like I mentioned before, both are gonna look the same. They're gonna be separated. I have five of the 155s and I have five of the 286s with the same image. So this image, I want to use my extended. Okay, so I have in my, my drawing, I have my upright, uh, extended coverage 155 which is the standard symbol but I want to 
modify this one. So I'm going to add that symbol to my library. So I need to go in here. No symbols match that. So I need to go to wherever I have my um, my files. And I have my custom symbols here. And I have my UC head. I open that. That's now added to my library. See that here? I'm good for that. Select that. Go back to our symbol manager. And now this will be apply to Revit. Now that we have our symbols updated here, we go back to our symbol manager and we'll actually at this point see the details are correct and we can create our legend here. The legend is created. Go to our legends. Actually goes into the schedules and calls it to show you how this actually comes in and utilizes the symbols. We can stretch out our legend to be however we want it to look. Count. And there you have a sprinkler head legend now with the symbols, with your count, description. Thanks for watching.